say. Alright, so since we here, <laughs> y'all missed a lot, but we gonna keep going just like y'all was here. If we get here, <laughs> if you wanna make money doing that, it don't have to be a lot if you sell the experience. You do not sell the actual Mm -hmm. You sell the experience. Now you can charge whatever you want a motherfucker you want for experience. Now you just gotta pay that motherfucking rule. But okay. you can charge a motherfucker whatever the fuck you want for so the experience. So it's like you can get a fantasy fulfilled today. Hey. I mean that's what a lot of them actually be paying mm -hmm. for. Realistically. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. Like definitely because you got only fans. But they paying for just the fantasy. Imagining. They said, imagine you paying forty dollars for a girl OnlyFans and that bitch is frying pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of niggas yeah, like that. that. A lot of niggas are like that though. Yeah. A lot of niggas are like that. Hear that sizzles. Let <laughs> <laughs> the grease hit your neck and bite. Oh my god. Right, and bro. you jump back. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's probably pretty sexy. People forget what OnlyFans is actually. Pretty nah, I got popped pop with grease. Wasn't nothing sexy big. about that yeah. shit. I, know, I was laughing like mother. Bartending shit. Right. Because <laughs> initially it was just, it was, it was a marketing thing. Like, if you have a skill and you want people to pay to do seminars and shit, mm -hmm. right. that's what it started as. Then, <laughs> they took it, they took it far. So you're not gonna report nudity. They took it way too far. So we're gonna do some nudity. What happened when they fucked up? This is what fucked up, this is what fucked up when you fans up. Tumblr. Oh yeah, when, when, yeah, they, when they took that. all of the... Yahoo fucked up Tumblr. Yeah. We recorded. It's a what? Yeah, it's a what? You gotta stop knocking. This paid for. <laughs> we did it too late. That was not. That was a good. That was. That was a. That was the magic word. <laughs> I wonder if that's gonna make the final edit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the question. That was funny as hell. That's the question. <laughs> he said, "I think I'm trying to steal my weed." You touched the weed. It probably ain't even good. Nobody, but we recorded. Like I want to put in front of the camera. Right. Oh, I didn't know y'all was on. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> like, he said camera. we recorded. <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't what be up, it is what y'all said. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Satima Joe, a.k.a. LeBondre, B.k.a. Young Shane Bottom, because the older one is kind of weird. C.k.a. Flaming Redding, because I'm 10 steps ahead every time. <laughs> Jimmy knew why, cause I topes, I topes, and I blast off, folks. Yeah, you ain't think I was gonna I was waiting. I was waiting for gonna fuck it up. And I'm here with. It's your girl Olivia Wilde, of course. And I'm here with. Carousion, I'm back. Keeks is here. And I'm here with. Benji. You already. Shout out to Mo behind the camera. Hey, y'all. Hey. He ain't on the beat over here roaming in the audience. <laughs> Making noise with his boots and shit. Sit down somewhere. Sit down. Experience. What up, man? Been a minute. What's up? We back. How was everybody's New Year? School was cool. I made some money. What you did? I was bartending. Really? Yeah, I was working on the On the first day of the year, my fucking phone broke. Damn, your New Year's be sucking. Yours was sucking. Your New Year's be sucking. I don't know, my shit was lit, because I made all that money and then something to be good to do. <laughs> I made some money in New Year. Shit was lit. I definitely like, made my shit in 10 sessions. <laughs> I had mad sessions up there. I don't know how I got fried. I had a babysitter. That was, I got fucked up. I just want to say that that it wasn't bad for me because then I laid back and said this was the New Year saying, nigga, don't bring no old shit into this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new phone, right? Right, okay, that's, that makes sense. What the New Year do me? New Year, new the phone. TV broke and the shit broke, so that means nigga need to upgrade shit. There you go. Yeah. Fuck that TV though. Fuck the TV? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's been, Say no, goodbye in TV. No, <laughs> it's been three TVs in a year with these kids. I'm telling you. Damn. Couldn't even get mad. Oh, you done cracked it? No, All right. I'm going to tell y'all how bad it was. I'm going to tell y'all how bad it was. I bet the beginning of this year, a TV rocked out. January, no, tax time. That shit broke. We go buy another TV. About a month later, that shit break again. It's the third one. It happened on the 31st. We are gonna TV some because I will take it back Actually, and it wouldn't have to be placed. Yeah, right. Like I'm not buying. Oh it no, this this is this is this so, is them breaking it. So it ain't like it, care. it's a store. I don't care. <laughs> Put it back in the box. <laughs> that box is gone. Put it back in the box. <laughs> Taking it back to Walmart. We need a new one. <laughs> no, I'm not spending no money on it. I will, what? They got damaged in. You know my mother name? I will. I'll be in there in Walmart until I get three TVs. I got I'm you, Olivia. Eating. We gonna buy another one, put that in the box, and get our money back. <laughs> okay. Period. Okay. Period. 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 Is that champagne poppy though? Because if it's no, champagne no, poppy, no. go, ahead, go ahead and open the door and see what Drake you get. You open that motherfucker. Great value. Great value. Great value. Champagne poppy. I'm going to lose the blue to that motherfucker. That's Blackberry Gin Poppy. I think we'll just see who that is. Yeah, Friday Clark Pop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Machasta Poppy. Machasta Poppy? I don't even want to see that. Ugh. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's the only thing that I'm going to do. Is that the only thing that I'm going to do? Is that the only thing that I'm going to do? Is that the only thing that I'm going to do? Is that the only thing that I'm I ignore it. Ugh. Absolutely ignore it. Speaking of, is January certified lover boy drops in a week? What do y'all? What are we thinking about this? Drake is coming to the, at the top of the year. I okay. think. I think that everybody says that until they hear it's gonna Drake be a good, album. It's, I think it's gonna be a good year. It's gonna start the year off great. It's gonna start the year off on a high note. <sighs> um, Drake, my birthday twin, so I'm always listening, but I don't be pressed for his drops. Girl, I love Drake. Like I. I don't know. Benji shaking his head over there. Why, Benji? I lost, I lost 80 okay. fucking pounds listening to Drake all the right. time. Just walking, listening. All right, this is why I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited for this album. For the title, like Certified Lover Boy. Uh, I'm expecting an R and B album. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be some great music. I'm sick of that um. Music. <laughs> Drake only take half a pill. What do you mean? Well, that's good. We don't have to listen to the whole pill music. Drake whole music. pill. That be music. bottles. I <laughs> have to have a the whole pill music. Bottle pill. Drops, but... It be water. <coughs> <coughs> we soak this. <laughs> <be a> lot. <laughs> Babe. Yeah, I don't. I don't really be pressed for his releases no more. It's just like I will listen to it when it come out, but. I'm not sitting there waiting at midnight. Like, oh my God, Drake dropped. Like, no, I'm not gonna wait at midnight, but I'm definitely gonna wake up in the morning and listen. All right, so <coughs> I got something to talk to y'all about. It's a whole cons it's a conspiracy going down. It's a fucking conspiracy to make niggas feel nostalgic so they can replace shit and ingredients and fucking food. If you go to shop right, if you go to fucking any other place right now, you look at the Doritos. And shit, it's they old shit. They shit from like seventies and shit. They got the WWE shit that we used to get. The, this this uh, the ice cream, ice cream, the ice cream sandwich. Yeah, the ice cream sandwich. They got them shits in there. Shits with the all the old. If they stuff. got Spice Girl lollipops, mm -hmm. I'm it's over. It. I'm yeah, pulling my whatever lollipops. Over. I don't whatever whatever they try to pull over my eyes, it's gonna be pulled. <laughs> Mo, I'm it was it was not over overwhelming. All my stickers. It was. It, it, it was, was overwhelming. It was over. Well, all the stickers. All my stickers. Double right. rules are back. Double rules been back though. No. Yeah. They, they, they only had, they they only had like the fat packs though. 
Dung the old dungaroos are back now. Look, like, if they got Mondo juices, it's over. Mondo juice is crazy. Mondo juice is lit. I want the three. I don't want none of it. Do we need to even get it. Bring back this Spice Girl all the time, bro. This I don't even drink soda no more, but I don't give a fuck with nobody. <coughs> Mountain Dew Livewire was the best orange soda in the world. I don't care what nobody said. Like, that was the best orange soda that I've ever had. That means ain't no argue, boy. Ain't even nothing to say, Benji. You ain't gonna, right. you ain't gonna get no fight in that. <laughs> nah. Uh, that Mountain Dew Live Wire? Yeah. That, that, that shit. That was the little Halloween shit, right? No. No, it was the orange soda. Remember, they had the cold red, and then they had the live wire. Nah, not Mountain Dew. What was that shit? I like the the orange red. can, and they used to have, like, a little pumpkin face on it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It was an old. That shit was that in the Pepsi 90s. Blue used to hit too. That mm-hmm. orange soda. That Pepsi Blue. That Pepsi Blue used to hit too. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't want none of that shit. It's a conspiracy. It's trapping me. It's back Green now. Green Jack ingredients. Soda Compare shit. bags. I'm telling you. Why? They put the old ingredients back in it. They're putting something. Why did they change? Like Coca Cola got Coke in it. Why? They might be putting the Corona vaccine in that motherfucker. I don't know. The vaccine. <laughs> Why you changing <laughs> everything? <laughs> That's not even that old though. What? You're old. I'm telling you, they put the vaccine in the spice girl. Oh, uh, no, it's not that old. They I'm still got right. that on the shelf. I took it. My brother loves the vaccine. Like the original Tang, you heard? Just the. I was gonna say Tang, I hate Tang. Tang, I tang. had a powder after yeah. this, I didn't like it. Wait, your brother-in-law okay. took the um, vaccine? Yeah, my brother-in-law took the vaccine. I know where he got tricked up. No. And what happened? My goodness. Um. So far, nothing. So far, he been keeping up, making updates on his Facebook Live and everything. He live um, going in to the doctor's office to get it and all that. What? My brother-in-law got the vaccine. Oh, really? And he's fine? So far, so good. He took his first dose um, on Tuesday. I want to say it was Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Crazy, you got lady gave birth to a goat after she took that. Shit. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, we, we just gonna see what happens. What? And we just watching, watching and waiting. Yeah, I know. I'm not taking that shit. I'm just watching. I'm not playing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm not taking that shit. I, mean, I don't take the flu shot. So no, I don't take the flu shot. I don't take the flu shot. And I'm the I only like time it. I get the flu is when I take the flu shot. So like I'm not taking the flu shot. Imagine you had to take that shit to get that 1200 Everybody took that nah, shit. Nah, I wasn't taking it. I didn't get the first 1200 so I'll be alright. I definitely would have took that shit. I'll be alright. I wasn't taking it. I yeah, just, I would have had to just fuck it out. I just tried to get everybody else 1200 I got a $1,200 right. special. <laughs> 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 I just tried to sell her some shit. So you, get, you get three videos and a vlog. What you say? $1,200. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. I could work some shit around and get that 1200 because I ain't pressed for it. I was listening to the radio and they were saying, like, people <coughs> in the studies, people who actually got the vaccine didn't get as sick as many people didn't get as sick as the people who didn't get the vaccine and then only one of them got hospitalized that had got the vaccine but it was about 10 of them that got um hospitalized that didn't take the vaccine i mean realistically they're looking at this in terms of like herd immunity so if mostly everybody gets it which mostly everybody already has and then Ooh. another say 25% all get the vaccine, then the 25% of us that don't get the vaccine, eventually our bodies are going to build up the immunity to fight it on That was my period. thing. Yeah. See, so I'm going to say all the people who have the antibodies need to watch out because another thing they were saying on the radio was saying that, that that's, again. no, 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 that that's gold for them. Like, to have the antibodies, you can save a life and you can help people. Mm-hmm. So they coming for y'all with those antibodies. They, they took y'all tests. The antibodies actually run out. Yeah, they were they, saying that the antibodies don't stay in your system. No, it don't stay. Right. Yeah, but they trying to drain it out motherfucking systems uh, who got that can shit. Can I say something real quick? I don't know how true this is. But they were saying that the virus itself 
Wait, wait, wait. I gotta make sure I say it right, so I don't wanna make sure. Mutate it, cause it mutated a few times. Yeah, that's what they but that it. most likely it was supposed to mutate because okay. different 19, blood. 19, different. So what they saying like when you hand when, when you keep washing your hands and it's all the food, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you killing the bad bacteria, you killing, you killing the, the good bacteria. The good bacteria. Right. That hand sanitizer. So they, they, they actually saying that you're weakening your immune right. system. Right. When you wearing the gloves and you're not right. touching nothing, right. like you're not getting those germs yeah. to, for for your so body like to burn them and fight them off. Right. Oh, damn, I ain't wanted to stop the whole thing. <laughs> I was, <Wait. laughs> I was that, trying to get Olivia that's attention. That's <laughs> like, if you think about it, that's how we've been raised. They tell you, put your kids in school because if they're not around other kids, they're never going to be able to build their immune system up. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how they get their immune. Yeah, they're going to get sick. They might get a cold here and there. Right, but but that's how their body is. That daycare is all different. Cold and stuff so that they can... Olivia, you this ain't go through it yet. This is how our bodies work. This is how our bodies function. <laughs> if you're not exposed to daycare. something, you're never going to be able to get over it. When kids oh, first go to daycare, it. they get sick as fuck. They get you sick as right. fuck. Mm -hmm. My daughter had a sitter. And the sitter, she had like her own little daycare. And she did get like a little cold in the beginning when she first started going with Yeah, her. that's that's. Other than that, like, it was only for a little while because I, I was on maternity. I went to work in, in the end of January. And then in March, it was, it was closed. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that just like us actually being around people and being outside is helping us more than hindering us. Yeah. Like I can understand the concept of everybody staying in the house and then we can kind of control it or and or eradicate it like they did in New Zealand. They literally eradicated the disease on the island. So That's why the old people died first. <laughs> no, I'm serious though. More old people died from the from the COVID. Because of their immune system, because yeah, they, they have they extra sanit system. they extra sanitizing shit, and they weakening they already weakened the immune system. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but I heard about China lying about the number of cases that they have. Yeah, I did hear about that, but I'm not surprised. Shit, this, America right? was fucking up the number. Well, I'm not saying it's not just China, bro. Right? Yeah. If you look at China, they always been wearing a mask. I wonder yeah. what for. <laughs> I don't understand why they was always wearing masks. Because they, was, they have very poor air quality. Nah, like there's that their corona. Is <laughs> fucked up because they have a lot of yeah. Yeah, they're severely overpopulated and like just in that oh, entire the Chinese area. are the dirtiest species of yeah, human. No yeah. bullshit. If you read in the Bible, they're called Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. This is not this the belief and views. Oh, everyone here, this is a face pack. <laughs> <laughs> you should have talked about this off camera. Face pack. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave my shit to myself. <laughs> but it said in the Bible. Nah, right? this is going to be your. We're going to spin off it's called, this, brother. Go ahead. They call them the. It's, it's, it's called <laughs> Moon. I think it's M O M B or some shit like. Uh, no. I forgot. I got to read that shit up. But that's what he considered the Chinese and the Oriental in the Bible, and that was a, a another word for garbage or toilet. Oh, wow. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> that's that's what you prefer. And we be eating this motherfucking food like nothing. So what do we I stopped. I'm sorry. I stopped. That's, that's not, not Chinese food. food. Look, it's not. They the ones cooking it's, the shit. The food that scary. we eat is not the same Chinese food that they have in China. Yeah, I know that. But, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's why it was like, why are y'all not eating Chinese food? It's not like they're getting these ingredients from China and bringing them here. Like they just eat. They getting this shit from. But they the only. We shop nah, at. they only buy from their people. That's that's yeah. been a, that's always been a thing yeah, with China. They, nah, they, they ain't getting that pork because they put the pork fried rice from the same food market. I get that ain't there. pork. That ain't that ain't, <laughs> that ain't what pork. That is. It, it was just shimmy bright. Right. Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh the little red cube. The, the that's, some that's, that's some eek. Yeah, that's some eek. It's, 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 like it's, it's red because yeah, of the spices and stuff that so they use. And then sauces and stuff. You know, you know. That's I've been watching all these videos they online about them cooking and doing all this other stuff. Go to fucking Costco and get that shit. I don't, trust it. Does, I don't trust it. The stuff that we got over trust here it. is not the stuff that they got over there. That's when you see like them that. sitting down, they eating noodles and shit. And right. Soup. They don't, they don't eat that. They cook back there. They eating water stuff. Yeah. Water see, based they food. Some sticky ass rice. <laughs> right. And rice. rice. They fucks up rice. Noodles. <laughs> that's why they. That's why they. That's why they, 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 they also short because they have too much um carbs in their diet. 
They don't eat nothing that they cook in that kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. They don't. They don't have a, like. That's, a def- that's definitely your fat right there. <laughs> yeah, but look, that's a kiki. Fat. I'm a snapple fat. <laughs> All right, so we gonna move on. Uh, Shit, to I got the, Asian and Nia. So uh, next topic. Then you got cars. Uh, I got a uh, question for you. You been with your significant other for a minute? Like, let's just say, like, let's put it anywhere between three years All about and it. like seven, right? And you act, and you like a person from. Before they met you, come into your life, and they give you like one of them hugs. Like I ain't see you in a long time, hug. You're that. You're like they do that to your man or your girl. What's going through your head? I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not that. Like for me, stuff like that, it don't bother me. If I can see it and how it works, like you gotta see how, like how they body language is and how they interact with each other because sometimes it really just be some regular shit but people have jealousies and they they like to see things a certain way when it's really not that like for me shit like that don't really be that serious i have too many male friends for any kind of insecurity that's what it is you the friend (laughs) literally my best friend is a guy so if you have problems with me being around men you really not have a problem, and yeah. this ain't gonna work out because I hang around too many dudes all the time. And what do I look like feeling some type of way about you being around females when I'm always around dudes? Like it, 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 it really just comes to being secure in your relationship and knowing the person that you with. If you don't, if you not right, like trust if you get with a person and they was already around a whole bunch of male friends, that's something different. Like if that's something you've been doing your whole life. And they should have no problem with that. And that's but what they, I'm saying. But let, let you not have no male friends, and then all of a sudden you got three male friends all of a sudden. And that's a different that's story. A different story. That's but a different if, story. if y'all go way back, then you got to respect that and accept that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then people have lives that you don't, whether you know them or not, like, I tell people, I tell these niggas all the time, like, I have a whole different different side of my life that y'all don't even know. Y'all have never seen, y'all have never experienced. I said it to you guys, and then I was like, as far as I go, I have a situation. Oh, it's like, yeah, go ahead. Um, As far as I go, I have a situation. All right, two snaps means somebody got to pass a lighter, bro. You gotta stop I talking over the podcast. That's why we locked your ass out. Signals. That's why I'm making signals. You gotta get a lighter. You, signals you need cards. <laughs> Where is the matches? <laughs> I'm professional. Now. You need two sticks. I quit, so I don't got nothing for you, fam. Well, well, uh, I quit. Go ahead, Benji. Go ahead. Damn, I. <laughs> I can't get it like, go ahead. No, face. 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 We recorded, bro. Like, chill. It's blank. I got a lighter. It's in a white coat over there. Nah, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm definitely not going to the coat. I wouldn't. What the fuck? It's bad. 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 Nah, like as far as the whole hugging shit, like I done been with, I done, I done been in crazy relationships before, so like my view is different, you know. Like, like a hug ain't really shit, you know. Like, it could be other crazy shit going on that you don't know about and like shit like that, you know. Like, so I don't know. My view of relationships is crazy. Like, I don't trip off of shit like that. Like, if it's some, if it's genuinely like on some friend shit, like I don't give a fuck. It's two motherfuckers. Yeah. But that's the whole thing. He said it was like an overly friendly hug. Yeah. Oh, like an like yeah. overly friendly hug? Like, it was shit. a big squeeze. I ain't seen you in a long time. <laughs> it was no, but just somebody, like, if y'all been together for over three years and this is the first you've ever seen, that means this person hasn't seen me in over three years. 
So the hug could have been an exciting. It really, yeah, like, like, yeah, people really just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I it definitely ever. could have been. That's just because you're with the person for three years, only they ain't seen each other for three years. But it could have been that. All right, it could have been that, but my but thing is, if you coming up to my man or whatever, and I'm with him, and you just gonna overly like actually hug him, I'm not gonna say nothing to nobody. I'm not about to cause no extra drama. But when we walk away, I'm gonna tell him like, don't let that happen again. Like, <laughs> not in my face. First of all, she should have said something to me. You Definitely. see me with him. Don't that's do that. Yeah, yeah, that's say, crazy. Like, that's crazy. Don't be that person. That's crazy. Don't I'm don't like, ever do that. Cause that, oh my God, you see I'm me. Fine. You see me here. Person, so I'm a I'm not there. If it's the other way around, if it's if I have if it's a guy that I went to college with or somebody, I'm like, yo, this is my boyfriend, da 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 like no, 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 I'm saying, what, it, know, what if it's with vice versa? I'm from a small city where niggas grow up and really don't go outside no more. That's so, true, like, bro. Outside. You feel me? Like, it'd be a nigga that you could really be like, that's like your cousin or some sneak shit. But you ain't seen him in like, I mean, see her or him in like seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be mad at that? Like, but that's I would like I would I would like to be offered an explanation. That ain't well, getting I, mad. Though. Why, it's not a mad. It's more of an annoying let, thing. Let, like, why are you overly explain. hugging my yeah, man? Yeah, she like, explained like, who he is. Yeah. Half the world like, oh, I would like to we go way back. Like, to like, oh, all right. I'm but some people don't let it get to that point like like where offer a situation. But if I don't, who the fuck is this? I'll let it sit. If I think it was something overly funny after I rethink about the situation, I actually about it but not talking to like I'll let that just slide because niggas know everybody in this bitch in some way it's only yeah, like yeah. A, a turn of a degree of separation between somebody and somebody and somebody in this bitch. like I said right. don't act like I'm not there but that's why I said like you also gotta look in perspective of the person that you're dealing with because like for me most of my friends ain't even in passing <laughs> like most of my friends come from being me going to college no. outside of this this and county plus, I oh, smile, but I'm still in my head like, who the fuck is this bitch? And why is she people, hugging you so people, tight? Bro. Right. Why she hugging you so tight? Right. 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 But now you're not that part. So explain that to that bitch that hugged you there. Because ain't nobody got time for that. I feel like this is really not that big a deal. It's not. It's not. Like it's just a It's not fight worthy, but don't don't it's a moment. Like it's definitely worth like like if she don't say nothing to me, it's def and he don't that's that's introduce us. Like, <laughs> but that's right. when, that's, that's where next, the respect next time issue you comes know, in. I'm gonna punch you in your face. That's where the respect punch issue you? comes in. No, I'm not <laughs> gonna hit anybody. I'm not gonna hit anybody. <laughs> so I'm not making that anymore. We grew so up growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Say like your ex, right, in your DM, and all she says is hi, right? Uh -uh. And you in a relationship, uh -uh. He right? Isn't, nope. Is it wrong? Just if she said, "Hey, I just been wondering yeah. how you doing. I hope everything's okay with you." Like nope. some real life, you feel me? Is it appropriate to respond to it or no? Nope. Is this your wife? Oh, even if it's your wife or significant other. No, Why are you in a relationship place. responding to your ex? That's a problem for no, people. No, no, no. I said it's it's like, it. Turns I said, from high, it turns from high. Because it's also. It turns from high to This is what much. I'm saying. This, this depends on your security. Because if you secure with your man and his ex hit him. I don't know. I don't care like how secure I am. That That's what I'm saying. That's too much. Because then the thought processes of your significant other, like. Should That's like, true too. You gotta think But this all comes have have from this all comes from having you have to have a conversation with a certain amount of transparency you know, with your significant other. If you don't have if like you need to know the person that you with. If you know the person that you with, then shit like this is not an issue. Like no, nah, no. Nah. You can know them from top to bottom, and still yeah, things can pop up that just have don't. And I can't worry about other people because other people always it's always gonna be a nigga in my face. 
You gonna get mad at me because this nigga said, oh, you beautiful, I wanna buy you a drink? That's not my fault. I can't help that I look good. Like, what do you want me to do? You want me to stop being attractive to niggas? Okay, that's, okay, so I'm he didn't say that. Bad. He said, he said, okay, he said something to you. How did you respond to that? <laughs> that's, that's where, what, that's, what <laughs> that's what he's talking that's about. That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean when I say, if what you understand response? your partner, then don't sit there and look at him too because this bitch, like, all in his face, and he's sitting there like. Nah, but he can't always keep going to chill with her, and he know her intentions are fucked up. Yeah, that's different. I'm don't not keep, talking about. Don't that. keep putting yourself back in that situation if her intentions are fucked up. And, and don't keep an, don't keep answering her if her intentions are fucked up. Now, if you if you answer her and she you know y'all y'all having a good conversation and it's just friendly, that's one thing. But if hey, you answer her and she want to fuck, <laughs> right? That's no. But no, that that no. all comes down to understanding your partner, knowing your like if y'all got those boundaries. That's like me getting mad at this People nigga's ex for hitting time. him up when his brother died. What do I look like getting mad about her reaching out saying, yo, you know, I hope you good, this and the third. His brother got killed. So That's not what? a high, though. That's not a high. What you hiding for? What you that's, hiding that's, for? That's checking up on him. Like, that's that's like, different. That's, like, but out, that's, that, y'all didn't put it in context. Has, you he said literally lie, said hi. Said he, said, he, said, he said, why did she hit you up? You gotta look at shit in context. Every I'm about to say, say it, it, it depends on how y'all go. Talk, right? talk, talk, no, dude, talk. Yeah. All right, let's let's break this down since we're here. Can I get them out? Was it a high, and then it was a after the high, did it come? Hey, how are you doing? Or was it a high? Hey, um, or was it a hey, how are you doing? I want to just check up on you. I mean, in that, I mean, just in that. You know that. Kind Which of, one? That Which region. one? All he said was hi. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> say like, say like. No, how did it start? Let me, let me just paint. Let me just paint a quick scenario. Nah. Right? No, not the scenario. This is the exact question that I'm asking. What yeah. was the first text that she sh came in with? The first text. Let's just say she said, "Hey." Came okay. across your profile. I, I I seen a picture of you. I was wondering how you was doing. I'm just saying hi. <laughs> so she's updated <laughs> how you look. I, mean, I don't know. Like I ain't know. So that sound like some regular shit. That sounds like some shit. You seen your you know, picture like, and said, "Nah, nah, talk." That sounds like some regular shit. No, talk. Plenty like of fish. I'm just playing double advocate. That's just my question. Was it just a high first, and then all that led after in a different text bubble? What or what? It makes a difference. It I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you after. What was okay, it? I want to see where you going with it, bro. So what's wrong? Was it? I mean, if all right, so let's just say she said. Was it a double bubble or was it let's one? Let's just say hey. Oh, oh, was it? What was, was it, it for? Anyway? It was one. It was one. Okay, it was one. Okay, it was one. Just hi. I don't want to say how no, it, it was. Different. Hey, how you doing? No, because no, no, I don't know. I think that you just thought about it. I don't think that was hey, how you doing? Like it was all one. That's what I'm saying. It's one message. But that's why. I'm just asking, why, why is she even, why is she Can even I get the answer that I'm looking for? Go ahead. It wasn't just He said it was hey. one bubble. He said it was one bubble. One oh, bubble. It was, hey, how you doing? Uh, I didn't see you. Uh, all right. So just was, checking on you. If it was just that, then yeah, she was just checking up on that nigga. I don't but, understand what Ooh, boy, you looking like a head with the sleeve. Like, why, why is it? What does that make a difference? Hey, how you like, I'm confused. Like, what the difference? If somebody say, hey, how you doing? If she said, hey, he responds to, hey, that's different. Then, hey, it's a shot. It's a shot. It's a shot. If if she If it's just... Hey, and then she let that shit sink, and he let that she shit. She want conversation. Bigger. And then he come in with the la da da da. Hey, that's a shock. I mean, she it's a, it, she if want she conversation to check up on because him, because she, she got straight to the point, like to check up on him. And then the response he got. Let me ask you this though. Some people actually have good relationships and grow apart, right? Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. Look, 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 look. So what if they ended off that's what as I'm friends? That's what I'm So when they I'm see each other, that's why I say that's why if you have to look at the person that you are with. Because right, I right. have exes that are friends of mine. Like, Y'all know this. Y'all know that. my exes that I'm still cool with. I understand that. I understand that. But at, at one point, it's like, okay. If it ended good, then shit. They just come in with what they want. Like I said, it would just be the whole "Hey, how you doing?" La da da da, la da da da. It won't be a hey. It won't be a heat check. It won't be a shot. It won't be like let me see if this motherfucker responds. It just needs a oh, regular. Like, like, it just needs a regular okay, conversation. Okay, okay. Like a like a like a hidden that's agenda. Yeah, yeah, it'll just it, be some regular conversation. Right, 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 that, right. That's my thought process on the fact. I don't know, Rob. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense to me. Anyway. 
But again, I have I have a bunch of exes that I'm still cool with, so I have a different perspective on that shit. I, mean, I have a whole baby with somebody that's like my best friend. It could go way. And we don't have no kind of sexual relationship. And I love it that way. That's It works for us. You all, you just got to look at it. That's why it always just comes back to understanding your relationship. Because can't nobody tell relationship you about your that. relationship. The only person that knows what goes on in your relationship is you. I'm a, I'm a nip shit in the bud type yeah. of person. I'm not a uh, let I'm it happen and then, there. oh, the flower is here. Let's yeah. pick it. Hell no. no that shit. <laughs> At the beginning, we're gonna throw that right in the garbage. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's a lot. That's a lot. To pluck from, no. I don't even know which flower was no more. We walk away. I'm gonna let you know, like, that was, that was, I didn't like that. I didn't like that hug. That was a little too much. I mean, I think it could be cool, but that was a little too much for me. I mean, as long as you know your relationship, then. I'ma still know. I'ma still know. Manage it. Not to change the subject, but what what did y'all think about that Tyson fight, bro? Did y'all talk about that yet? That Tyson and Roy Jones shit. We had no intention on talking about that. It wasn't <laughs> oh. relevant. That shit, man, old. Ah, uh, no, I was it's just looking at that shit the other day. That fight crazy, bro. It's a space at the end of the podcast. I'll let you introduce any topic you. Okay, Just go my with bad, the flow my of bad. the show. Low change the topics and shit, my bad. I forgot how the podcast work. <laughs> so. Give that man a lighter so he can smoke each other. For real, man. Don't. I got kicked out the classroom, right? <laughs> <laughs> he don't got a lighter. Where's the lighter they gave you the first time? They didn't give me the lighter. He gave me the lighter. It's real cool. You do it, bud. It's the purple one, dude. I threw it back to him. It was the one that was halfway ripped. He got it. Took that down and get the. Take it off. Well, I try to make this not about me. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Slick Keith. Ah, so. You the face. Y'all insist now. Okay, so from what I gathered from it. The what? Caesar. This thing was Caesar from Caesar Emanuel mm-hmm. from Black and Crew, mm-hmm. New York. Okay. So from what I gathered from it, last night I'm laying there, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Shade room. Shows his daughter on live going all the way off. On him? On him, talking about he put his him? hands and feet on me. Um, she said he dragged her out the shower and started jumping on like jumped on oh, top of her, started beating her. She's his daughter? So his daughter's 16. We done seen his daughter on the show since she was like eight or nine. Like we watched her grow up on the show, whatever. And Apparently, it's been this whole big thing saying that he jumped all over her and his girlfriend is jumping in it like, oh, she's disrespectful, she's ungrateful, this, that, and the third. He think everybody ungrateful. And he just put out a statement earlier today saying, let us, what do you say, Mo? I have to read it for you. Um, just... Let us let us handle our differences. Our <laughs> privacy. It's not stopping. Oh. We back up. All right. So. <laughs> Probably sing. I was trying to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Felt that way. So she did R-P-B. all of that on live, and then his girlfriend jumps on and talks about, oh, she's ungrateful. All she had to do, she was asked to wash the dishes. We got a maid, so she don't got to clean up her room. Her father bought her six hundred dollar wig. She was just asked to do the dishes, and she got an attitude about that. And she's just a spoiled brat. Then she was like, oh, she was 60 pounds overweight when she came to us. And we the ones that put you on a diet, had you in a gym, eating what, like... Where her mother? And her mother need to beat his girlfriend the fuck up. Then the mother comes in like, I had to book a flight at 3 a.m. to go get my daughter. She'll never be in no situation like that again. The mother really didn't even speak on the girlfriend. She spoke more on getting her daughter from being with with C's. Mm Mm-hmm. So, and the daughter, she was going off like she was on live on her Instagram and then she was posting on her story 
And it was just. Y'all gotta find it. It's a shit show. Shade room got it all. When did this happen? She didn't post no bruises. All of this happened. It all came out last night, like two o'clock in the morning. Mm. I'm scrolling down Instagram right. and I'm seeing all of this. So I'm not gonna do that to comment on their personal circumstances. But it brought up some significant questions in my mind. You feel me? Because we have people that parent together in this in this situation, and then we have people that co-parent in this situation. And we have people who are significant others of people who co-parent in this situation. So let's talk about this subject upside down and around. No, I know I got it. I love it. Sativa experience. Alright, so the first question is, how do you co? How do you reprimand your child as a co-parent, or how would you prefer your child to be reprimanded by the person, other person that's co-parenting? That goes to y'all, because we don't have kids. <laughs> I love the answer. That's that really well. Facebook could weigh in on that, but it goes to really like these two because like we pretty much make, uh-huh. make decisions together. Yeah, right? but y'all aren't really co-parents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. not the I same. said we make decisions together, so we can't really weigh in. Well, on my that. baby is one, mm-hmm. so I really like. There's really no discipline right now, but like, I don't, I don't mind her dad disciplining her. He's in her life, so. But how would you prefer that be carried out? Like, I mean, like if, you if, can't if, abuse her. If her dad decides to spank her, would you be okay? There's no spankings right now. Like, she's one. What well, she I'm saying she for? gets to be like five or something. Like they get attitudes at like eight and a half, one. <laughs> 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 they get attitudes at, at three and a half, four. <laughs> I got more than enough nieces and nephews, so I already see it. I know she's far from me. She's sucking teeth at once. So I'm not gonna hit none of my kids until they like five. And then I don't even give to you. And then even after that, I mean, like if he pops her on the hand or something, like if you do something bad, time down, put a hard move. That's nothing. Time down. I'm just joking. Put a hard Mommy, on. Mommy, put Candyman on. Oh, you want to play it? On the bottom, like. Look, I was nowhere to well. Like, like Candyman. Like that. Like that. Y'all know my mom. I'll leave it on. Y'all know my mom. I'll leave it on. Y'all know my mom. I'll leave it on. Like, but what if she eat it? Like, how would that carry out for you? No, I'm not a belt. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So that's not, that's your line, the belt. Mm-mm. No, we're not here. So Pop Pop is okay? Pop Pop. What? What do you mean, Pop Pop? So you don't feel like you're taking his. Right, like, like, like pop, pop. I thought you was like in the mouth. Not in the mouth. Bro. No, not in the mouth. <laughs> no, no face. No, no, no. Ever. Mm-mm. Okay. No little leg, hand. <laughs> so you no, can't trip them while they walk and none of that. No. Why would you no. trip a four year old? I'm a trip for two for some reason. It's you as I ain't tripping their kids. They trip themselves. You don't gotta trip a kid because the kid don't trip themselves. <laughs> I just did. My I kid you they you ever thought about what your kid did and tripped them? All I can say, I think there's like one know. punishment that maybe, I don't even know if Mo really understood, well, like, felt some type of way about it, but I felt like I might have won a little bit. But I had to show my son some shit at some point in his life. Like, you know Yo, that's. Ah. Like it's, it, it comes down to that point. Like it's, it's little things that change your perspective in life, and sometimes you got like, yo, daddy's pretty cool. I want to keep daddy pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? like, My kids, wow! I can't even tell you. Bro. I got an eighteen-year-old. So battery. I, uh, battery. I'm, I'm looking at me like I'm in charge. I think. Personally, as somebody who don't have kids, everything that I have to go off of is A, how my parents raised me, and B, how I see all my nieces and nephews and my cousins being raised. And for the most part, they all got raised the same way we did. Like, it's no, you not overtly getting beat. Because no, nobody in my family, like, none of us were really bad kids. So for the most part, like, Nobody in my family, like, we're super bad kids that anybody was getting locked up or really needed, you deserve to get your ass beat. Everybody is like, you got, we got basic reprimands. My little cousin, he got beat, he, he got his ass beat a little bit, but he was disrespectful as shit when he was in school. And he was only disrespectful to the white teachers. He wasn't disrespectful to the black lady teachers. 
But outside of him, everybody was pretty good. And in general, that's how I want my kids to be. Like, I want to raise my kids that same way. That's not a deal. I audience <laughs> member Feast, I actually have a question for you, man. Okay. How many kids do you have? Oh man, no, <laughs> how we doing it? Cut, cut the camera now. <laughs> nah, cool. I got you. four, I got four. That ain't bad. That I know of. <laughs> that I know of. How old are they? No, actually, my, no, I would ask, I would answer. I know, I'm, I'm so grateful about mine. Alright. I got man. my oldest, y'all made he 19. My other son is about to be 14 next month, on February 17th. So how do you handle the discipline? Between, like, you I pissed the whip him. That's how you get him. <laughs> oh my god, why are you like this? <laughs> but what you really got now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Me personally, with my oldest son, he just moved to Georgia, so he been down to Georgia since he was 17. So he transitioned from that kid to a grown man in Georgia around his mother. The only thing I could do is, you know, be supportive as far as like financially and. You know, shit like only thing I could really do and talk to them. What could you do? They gotta make their mistakes, bro. In this new era, the kids is little Dirk and little baby, bro. Don't argue with me, bro. Nah, I'm fine with you. Nah, I'm just I was joking though, but really, we just do a lot of talking. And my son, I don't know, they like me. They like doing mad shit. They don't really get in trouble. They just like doing mad. They can't stick to one thing like me. Like they like doing twenty different things. So how would you feel like they mother crossed the line in a punishment or something like that? Oh, I'm all for it. I'm cheering her on. Get <laughs> yeah. him. The more you see the first thing he said was I'm the first thing. Him. But the, <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna tell her, I'm like, I don't see blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but shit. Now, when the kid is acting up, I feel like for as long as you got an open hand, (laughs) you can't argue. You cannot argue with a mother. Listen, a father, a mother can argue with a father about hitting a child. I I don't don't think you can argue with a mother about hitting a child she gave birth to, bro, unless she abuses her. A light skinned nigga get a black and blue handprint put on his face. That is not true. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, that's pigment. That's a pigment fairy, a pigment fairy. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about, because ain't nobody in here got that struggle. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm <laughs> I know a little baby with his nose bone right now. Don't leave a mark. I'm quite sure. The way, the way that shit left that yeah, mark, I'm no. like, yeah, if I was here, yeah, yeah, might leave a wet. That by the time the time we go to the school, I got smacked by my mother. Yeah, I got smacked by my mother. Yeah, no, I got smacked by my mother. Yeah, 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 I got smacked by my mother. Not, <laughs> let's talk about it. It's not bad. It's cause, it's cause and effect. That's what it was. Cause you don't have to do it if you ain't do nothing wrong. Honestly, ain't like I'm making you do it every day. You, so you so gonna see you gotta do the style. Nah, like, like, you, like, you, you know, know some you know, people make their kids like hold the book out, yeah, one leg up, like this. Bro, that's no, that's abuse. You just gotta hold your body weight. That's it. Your hands straight up. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's it. I 20, got, minutes. I got shit one time. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not gonna lie. And then I'm, I'm gonna not gonna lie. lie. I used to my sister, lie. my sister used to get her ass beat. Your hand gonna crack. My sister used to get, get her ass beat. beat. I ain't but she older or younger? Anymore. She's old. I'm the youngest. Oh, so you learn from that. That's a lot of I learned from that. Right. Cause she was wild, disrespectful. She used to be doing all kinds of shit. Like. <laughs> Like being, being. My sister used to be wild. This was you look like the the title teller. You look like you told her this. Go ahead. Like I feel like beating beating ass is a lot. It takes a lot out of you. Like when I became an adult, I understood. You know when when the parents say you know it's gonna hurt me more than hurt you because that shit hurt. Like after you whoop after you whoop one of your favorite nieces' ass, it's like damn yo. I had to tell my. I begged my niece to get away from me because she wanted to cry right up underneath me. I'm like, get away from me. Get, I gotta cry too. Get away from me. Like, 
She would not leave, so I had to cry while well, I'm dragging her away from me. Like, leave me alone. Like, I got a whooping too. Go cry in the other room. It was one time I had to go against my nephew. Like, he really tried to fight me at eight years old. And I'm like, That's he bought his fist up. I was like, you think you bought your fist up at? First of all, his father will ch- will chest check him. Like, his father will punch him in the chest. So, who you bawling your he be doing shit and he do that, that and I be like, like if you don't unball your fucking fist, I will slap the shit out of you. And then that hand go like this. <laughs> I don't got that type of kid. If I had that type of kid, I, you know, that's gonna really be rocking out. Yeah, you have to square but, up with him. No. But he's not that type of kid to his father. <laughs> he's only that type of kid to other Girl, people. Um, well, my kid not that type of kid towards no one. Cause this is yeah, don't have that type of kid at all. Imagine you see your son as a baby, and then. Like my big mother, like yeah, he down here shooting and did it is. Right. And I'm like, he came back up here. I was, I was asking him, like, yo, you was down there shooting? Why you want to like that? No, 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 no. I'm like, no. Like, what you out there doing? Cause you know what you live by, you die by. You gotta prepare him. This, if, bro. Only thing you can tell a kid like that. And I'm, God forbid, I don't think he like that. He said he not. But if your kid like that, only you gotta prepare him. Like, go oh, look. But the crazy thing Two is... Two ways out of this life, my nigga, is jail or death, bro. If you meet life. my nephew, he's not even like that. Like, you're not that type of kid. You go to school in Montclair. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, you're not that Montclair, type of kid. Uh, my boy Berto from Montclair, bro. Mm-mm. Berto, they, Berto they was on New Jersey job. So, what you talking they, about, bro? So that brings into another question. All right. As people in relationships or people that's co-parenting, how, like, how would you, this really for me, how would you want your BDs, like, significant other to play a role in, like, (laughs) that jump back, not at all. Like, like, like stepmom? Yeah, like let's just mm-hmm. say that he gets married to somebody one day. If he gets married to somebody, that's that's her stepmom. All right. So, but uh, I mean, I'm not gonna talk about my father, the camera. But who means she don't got a stepmom right now? Okay. But I'm he's saying, asking, what he's asking your, is like if he starts seriously dating someone, then how do you navigate yeah, that? Yeah, what's your what's your ideal like? How would, you, how would you like that situation to work if it does come about? Because it may come about on either his side or your side. So how do you navigate that? What may come about? Like somebody trying to be a step parent? Yeah. yeah. Like, it could happen. You, either you, you might, you might like, start dating somebody or he might start dating somebody. Like you gotta, like, like how I mean, do you navigate it's, it's, it? It depends on, you know, the amount of time they've been in my child's life and um, the amount of time that they spend with my child. Because you can't just... Um, be with his, be with her father, and you know, never meet her, and then one day she comes over to chill with y'all, and that's the day that you want to reprimand her and be her stepmom. Mm-hmm. No, like you know, you gotta build a relationship with my kid, and if you build a relationship with my kid and she trusts you, then you know, by all means, you if she's if she disrespectful, you take care, of, do what you gotta do. Don't just don't um abuse my daughter, but do what you gotta do. You know, like I if I I. Trust my baby father enough to know that he won't put my daughter in harm's way. Mm-hmm. All right. So, as a person that don't reprimand my children the same because my children aren't the same people, like you feel me, I understand that and I understand what they can't handle and what they can't. And as a person in their lives, constantly understand who they are. I would feel uncomfortable if the person reprimanded them in a way that they felt comfortable, whether then, like, I would rather, like, it be a conversation had. Like, like, don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Right. Yeah. Like, this is how we represent right. our kids. Don't do anything I would do to my kids. Just kid. because this is what don't you're take it far, to, doesn't right. mean that it's okay for I us. I think as parents, if y'all co-parent, y'all should have an initial conversation before. No, but this is about step-parents. Yeah. A lot of people wasn't raised oh, in love. Some people was yeah. raised in survival, right. so you got to be careful on you know what you say. Because I personally don't it discipline don't really my kid. I raised, discipline bro. my kid. It does, though. It, it, it and do. that's how you're raised. Yes, it do. Because that also has a lot to do with your understanding. I play a lot of them. I play a lot See, I was chess. raised with both play a lot of mental know. games with my kids to sharpen and make them understand the actual consequences that come with life. 
and stuff like that. But I don't like that's more of the punishment than life. Like sometimes some songs you just gotta wear shit that certain situations that you push yourself in. Like you feel me? And this is the grievance in that. That's where that whole thing come from. That's right. Like, that that twenty minutes of this is better than me putting you make saying you can't go nowhere for a week. That shit is mentally draining. Like, you feel me, like, in comparison, but it's like, how big is the stance also, like, I, I, ha I happen to have two great kids that don't do nothing that bad, right. <laughs> like, and they're still young, so, mm -hmm. like, they're not even that teenage ants, but I imagine. But that's good, they also not seeing nothing bad, I imagine, like, you know what I'm saying, so I mean, you definitely doing a good job. I have a different I have different perspectives on this whole thing because a I come from a blended family so yeah I grew up with my mother and father but I'm the youngest of five and only one of us has the same mother my mother raised my brother part-time and then my oldest sister and my oldest brother I never met my oldest brother he passed away before we met him so the three of us the younger ones we were raised together the two oldest ones, they weren't raised with us. We didn't meet them until I was an adult, and I'm the youngest. I'm 30, so that can, that tells you the age range hey, between you us. You said I'm old? I'm 30. But you old, too? No, 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 you old. <laughs> you just 30 old, oh, bro. No, it's not. But my also, age, 37, is not, that's no different from... 35 is old. 30, 30 is, old. is not old. But in any How case, like, we all 30. How old are you? 30. 30. You 32? Yeah. You just said you was 30. Then now you say you 32. No, he's no. 30 as well. You I'm as joking, a baby. He said you 32. Anyway, anyway like that I was, was saying, so corny. <laughs> like I was saying. Hey, yeah. Uh, I also <laughs> have. That's why you old. <laughs> right. Oh, that was a dad. Old, that was a corny dad joke. All, 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 all the old niggas watching, crack it up. Oh, yeah, you're right, I also, right. I also have an understanding being from somebody that dated someone who was. Yeah, niggas ain't like 72 out this morning. I got something to tell people. Alright. When you say decade is what I'm saying, go ahead. We're about to wrap up this show real quick. Hold up, wait, because Kiki was saying something. I want to hear her perspective as, like, on the stepmama thing, because you're right. talking about, like, a blended family, but oh, yeah, right. yeah, if you as, if you were put in a situation as a stepmom to have to reprimand a kid, how would you go about that? See, I've been fortunate enough to not actually have been put in that situation. Anytime I was with the boys and they were behaving in any type of way, usually their mother was in close proximity. So I never really had to do anything. And I, we also crossed that path when we got to it. Like, I met the mothers. I already kind of knew the kids because of me and him having a previous friendship. Because of us being friends for so long, I was around the boys already. So it was kind of a smooth transition into us dating and them knowing me in that sense. And meeting, meeting the mothers... One was, it was a smooth thing, like, it was no issues, nothing. The other one, it started off kind of rocky, but I think after she saw how I interacted with her child, then that's why she was okay with me. And he's had issues prior to me with having other females around his kids. So we were in a position where it was kind of a smooth transition, and just being around them, for me, it was more so, I'm not worried about reprimanding them. I'm not worried about being a stepmom right now. Now, at this point, I'm just trying to build that relationship with them. I'm just trying to grow with them and have them understand my place in their life. If they need me, they can always come to me. But if they curse you out, what you doing? <laughs> that ain't gonna happen because he ain't got kids like that. His kid's not this. I'm right saying now. you got, it's a hypothetical thing. Put, and if you were put in that situation. She makes angst. Hypothetically speaking. Why are you fucking my mom's club? <laughs> I would, yeah, I would try to understand it. Yeah, like, like I, would, I, would, I would go to him before I try to come to the kids. Like, especially because I, knowing his kids and knowing them for so long and watching them grow up, I know their characters and I know that that's not in their character. So if they did something like that, they going through something. So I'm going to sit him down like, yo, 
I it's lie. something going on. Like you need to I talk to your child. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You ever see a kid act that, like a cat? I probably get a conversation a before that. And then we're like, this bitch gotta be talking about me. Like, <laughs> 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 why would he say that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> why would he say that? <laughs> 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 Yo. Mm-hmm. You got something to put out after that? What? You got something to put out after that? You got something to put out You got something to put out I mean, I already said my piece. Alright. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do with my kid, or you're gonna get hit, or get hit. I'm gonna try to leave y'all a little tidbits of advice that helped me in my time. I ain't got a clear understanding, though. What was the results of the whole argument? Oh, well, the whole argument came back down what to... What it boiled down to? What it boiled down to? It boiled down to, like, actually building a relationship. She says she would rather somebody build a relationship. She's actually in the process of building a relationship to be able to be like, oh, all right, well, as consistent as I feel like this is such and such as he's, and he's in our care and, like, we establish this kind of discipline. Rather than you just outright tactfully smack this person's child. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just what you allow. Yeah, because you can't tell somebody how to parent their own home. It's always going to come down to how that person chooses to discipline. My, pers- My yeah, personal I mean, look. perspective on disciplining kids, though, I feel like women should discipline women because I don't want my kid in the habit of, like, Cause, Cause I feel like sometimes a son need to get whooped, like not even like in the aspect of wh- actually hitting him, like uh, just a uh, like breakdown of character into in the in the respect of we have to build you back up to make this better. Like it don't have to be all the time hitting some, but whatever. That's a whole different conversation. Yeah, everything I, everything should but, always be putting hands on. But like. And only a man can actually put you through those tasks because you co- come come to those tasks in life with men. Like, sometimes, like, as niggas that all make money in situations, sometimes a nigga try to come up to you and gank you. Like, <laughs> sometimes a nigga really, really just try to come because you a cool nigga. Mm-hmm. Niggas just come up you. You, can't, you gotta stand up on that principle. Are you gonna occur to me or at every point in your life? A man has to give you that test. Sometimes a woman has, most of the time, women have to give women that test, so, mm-hmm. like. Yeah, I say that all the time, like, any which way you put it, like, when the whole Mother's Day, Father's Day thing comes up, I hate when women say, Happy Father's Day to me. Because on Mother's Day, single fathers don't do shit like Shit, that. that's a lie. I mean, I've fathers, seen that I so many yeah, they do times. It, they done men it. are mothers, fight. too. Women are, I, they, they I see it both it. ways, so I don't like it either way. Fight because women. No, 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 no. I feel like women doing that shit to you. I'm lost. I've seen it so many times. Whatever masculine energy is in your kid's life, and you should congratulate whatever. Right. That's why I say I don't agree with it because anyone should put it. In my opinion, I'm the father. I don't care. I don't care if anybody agrees with this or not. But in my opinion. A woman can't raise a man to be a man. You can raise a man in the best way you know how, but it's certain things that they need a male figure in their life to learn. From a the same father. way, the I same way she females she need a woman in their life to teach them certain things that their father can't do it. No, she you can't. think she can? It's you not any way you put him, it. She'll put. I've seen, seen it happen, man. If, yeah, I'm but she's but, but she. But she. Some women. Some women. Let's be clear. Some women raise men to be. Stronger men than men raising men. And, and, and I've same, seen it happen, and, bro. And them same women put them kid, them men, in aspects that to be around like other men. Mm-hmm. And they to, don't to don't teach know. them no, the no, aspects no. that only men could teach them. Yep. That was her it's being certain a good aspects mother. Like, right. That wasn't it's her being aspect. a great father. That was her delegating the fatherly issues so, that needed to be aspects. That wasn't her being a great father. That was her as a mother raising her son the best way she can. Yeah. And that's why I said, at the end of the day, right. you're it's never so going to be many, a I'm father. Just, to say this, just right? like no single man is it's never so going to be a but mother. There's so many successful men out here from single age. mothers, bro. I'm People trying to be real with you. People do whatever they want to do. If you want to be the dad, girl, do what you got to do. 
be the dad, be the mom, mom right. be everything, be the superwoman, be the milkman, the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker, whatever you want to be, because... You know, if some sometimes you got to. What the fuck? You you got to. You don't got no choice. Not to say you don't have no choice, but you don't have you a choice. Do have a choice and some people don't like have a choice. Have their, their area to accept what they do. Sometimes you don't have some a Some people don't have, have a choice. choice. And because when no. it comes to Father's Day, you have a choice to be like, I'm the father. I was the father. No, I was it don't, no but father, you don't know that. That, 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 that. Every day after Father's Day or before Father's Day. And that's what I'm saying. Because a real father is a father all the time. You're talking about the mother that's there when the father not there. The yeah. mother that's there when the father can't be when the, when the baby got a fever. So my gotta, thing is, my thing is with that. Gotta, what about what about the fathers? That, what about the fathers that are there and the mother that's not? Yeah, We're not talking about that though. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. But we talk about. But I. But that's not what I said. No, but I. That's what I said. That's what started. I gave my opinion. No, 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 no. I don't like. My opinion was. You do what you do, gotta do, cause some women don't have a choice. Some women and, don't have but a choice. But I'm not talking about just women, because some fathers don't have a choice either, and that's why I have an issue. Be, a lot of these fathers too. that are single fathers, they get slighted because single mothers feel like they need all the attention, and right. that's what I don't like. I like, agree on that. Give these single fathers fathers day is for his fathers just like this. It's for fathers like him. It's for fathers like him. It's for fathers like that one. My kids. Well, okay, okay, okay. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. So, okay. So, so around, when Mother's Day come mother around, they're not, they're not saying, "Oh, I'm a mother too." What they are saying is. Some of y'all mothers deadbeat too. Mm -hmm. So it's it's people posting oh, that stuff about Mother's Day too. Long. Now, now you talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Also mothers so, and fathers saying that to females. It's not just fathers. Doing okay, so it's never it's, it's never just fathers. You honestly like about nah, it. Nah, 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 nah. Because I've seen I've seen men post. I've seen men post. It's Mother's Day. Mother did not do her best on her mother. But I will always right because keep talking. Everybody. Fathers, Mother's right. Day is for but they are. Right, right, that's it. That's my whole point. Let ding, fathers ding, have ding. their Father's Day. Right. If they deadbeats, let them be deadbeats. Just don't acknowledge them. Same thing on Mother's Day. If they deadbeats, let them be dead. I have the same point of view on both sides. No, no, because you're not even Mother's listening day. to what I'm trying to right, say. Right, go ahead. Point, on, on Mother's Day, I've seen people say these things and then on Father's Day I've seen men say shout out to the women that has to be the mother and the father too so it's it's not just women saying it, it's men saying it too I feel like Mother's Day is Mother's Day Father's Day is Father's Day no, that point we, I, we agree with you on that but what I'm saying is it's not just the women doing it it's not just the men doing it Mother's Day people then it's Father's Day <laughs> like you but that's, me? That, I mean, that's what it's that, always been. That's I mean, society. That's, it, it is what it is. <laughs> that's what society. You can change it by trying yeah, to society. make the Father's Day so bigger. Every that, 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 a lot of fathers couldn't saying, be celebrated boy. for a long time. A lot of mothers downplay Cut. good fathers Cut. just because it's not Cut. the father you wanted them to be. Cut. I have three birthdays throughout the year. I have my own birthday. <laughs> I have 420. I, like... I have a lovely partner that gets to let me act like it's actually a holiday for me. It's my holiday, you know that though, right? Uh, it's two yeah. days, three days before my birthday, yeah. so it's before my holiday. You, it's mine. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> 420 is also Alfred Hitler birthday, bruh. Anywho. So what? Anywho. Snap and snap. it's Father's Day. <laughs> I haven't had a Dell Father's Day yet. Whether yeah, we need to turn up for Father's Day. We have, yeah, we need yeah, to shoot, yeah, yeah, shoot a video for fucking Father's Day, bro. And my Dude, Father's birthday and Father's Day in a podcast. The same month. We literally I mean, have we need a like, special podcast for Father's Day. We literally bro. have a tradition of going mini golfing, which I love. I get socks and shit. Which I we should do the dad beats versus the dads. <laughs> Cheers. Beer socks, you feel me? But anywho, baby, what's the sound of these baby daddies up Babe. this one? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. I love, Thank you. I love, I, 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 like I said, I, I ain't never had that problem with Father's Day not being for me, so. I never had that problem either, like where, as to. From my mom to my mom. Anybody mother. said, you know, my mom, from my mom no. to say Father's Day was for her too, because she never felt that way, because we had a dad. Some, like my, yeah, all, all of us don't have the same dad. dad. But the dad that we had raised us I made my all. father feel special. So I, I can't even say that I, I can be on the other side, but I can understand the other side. Yeah. I can understand where the women are coming from because I've seen where 
my brother's fathers never came around. Right. And I, I think, saw that. I witnessed that. I, I witnessed my brother. I, not, I witnessed my brother crying because his dad had another kid and was in that kid's life, but not in his life, and still not in his life. You know, so I can understand both sides because I had we had a father, mm -hmm. but they had other fathers that were not there. And that's why I agree. I like that's why that. I have a different point of view because. My father, to me and my sister, that we have the same mother, we're the two youngest, he wasn't the same father to my other three siblings. Yeah, my brother, my mother kind of raised him. She was his stepmother. Like, she played that stepmother role. He acknowledges her as that. But my father still wasn't the greatest father to him. He was more in his life than he was in my two older siblings' life. And me and my older sibling, my older sibling, her oldest son is the same age as me. Like, he's six months younger than me. So, me and her having a conversation because our families are not able to interact the way that we want to because of the situation my father put us all in. And as the kids, we didn't ask for none of this. I can't spend my sister's birthday with her because her mother has an issue with my father. And her mother has an issue with us being around and us being the kids. Because we're a constant reminder of his infidelity. But I'm 30 years old. You need to get over it. Why am I not allowed to be with my 53-year-old sister because of your insecurities? I understand. That. I'm the young. I'm 30. I'm the youngest. I'm just, <laughs> Shit. Bro, I, I, yo, I understand nah, that, but that's a, that's a sensitive that stuff. As a I got man, some if, shit like if, that. Especially if I'm paying for the party. With <laughs> the party he ain't paying for the party. Her husband paying for the party. Oh, oh shit! Well, I'll just make sure my kids get together for the for this black person. But at this point, it's like I mean, the conversation me and her had is like I you're the one that made this problem. You're the one that made this mess. Now you want to fix it? Forty some odd years later, you can't fix it. You need Aina. At this point, like my father's seventy some years old. He almost eighty years old. You can't fix Ayana. nothing. As a person that because his wife, his wife is almost the same name. age. I. Similarly, in that situation, you feel me? Similarly, is not really the same. I don't really like. I all I gotta say is, is fuck it. I'm gonna live my life the way I want to. Like Rolling Stone. Yeah, and that's the conversation. It's me not even Rolling Stone because it's, she's like. It's, it's, we, family is not own, really like, being like the my community. Sister, her her made, thing was, that's, was like that's family in Jamie. Like like you feel what the fuck are you talking about? Like right. that's the. My sister, her thing of what it was, this, it's a I'm never going to put y'all in a people. situation where y'all feel uncomfortable, and I know that my mother's going to go out of her way to make you feel uncomfortable. And not for nothing, my father was a great dad to me. He was a great dad to my sister. But he was a shitty parent to my other three siblings, one of whom is not here to say anything because he's deceased. But my oldest sister, she, she told her mother, like, you can't deny these two, like, you can't de treat them some type of way because you mad at daddy, like, if anything, he was a better father to them than he ever was to us. Mm -hmm. So, you can't not acknowledge them. I get it, you mad, but you gotta get over that shit, because they not going nowhere. You can't, you can't, you literally, it's not like we some illegitimate kids that came out of nowhere. He was always, I talk to my father every day. My father called me at midnight on New Year's, he FaceTimed me while I'm working behind the bar. I talk to my father every single day. I took, I drive up, take my father just to go play his picket, and then take him back home. So you're not about to kick me out of nothing when it comes to my father. I'm the ultimate daddy's girl. I'm the baby. So That's how I, I get I'm the everything. Baby too, out of all kids, my father would be bad as hell. For real. I'm but that's why I say I see it on all sides because I know what I. It felt like for me to have my father. And I also know what it felt like for my siblings to not have their father because my father was too busy being there for me. Because my sister told me, like, I remember daddy coming home late at night. And for me, I'm like, yeah, because he was there when I went to sleep. And she's like, yeah, he was gone early. And when I woke up from school, he was already gone. Yeah, because he was there to take me to school. So he was too busy doing for us to do for them. And that was his own choice. And now... He has to deal with the consequences of that 40 years later. Yeah, that's definitely something to deal with. It's, when you got kids by different people, I got all different baby mothers. Like, you feel me? Like, that's dealing with all personality. That's different. Honestly, I, mean, I can't. I look at it like 
I can't. I can only say it's good. Nah, I'm not good. I praise niggas like you. What you talking about? It's not that I'm good. I planned that shit. I stayed with certain principles and morals on certain things that would have put me in a predicament to be in a position, situation that had multiple baby mothers. Right. It's not easy. It's not, um, it's a I lot of fucking you, work. I kind of like it. I ain't gonna hold you. It might sound weird, but I like, do kind of like dead it. Dead ass, like, I could, like, cause it's way harder the other way. It's, it's 10 it's times 30 harder. 30 times harder, don't say 10. Ninety thousand dollars in child support, <laughs> for so that's school. assuming you get put on child support. No, that's a, what I paid. For, man. I'm <laughs> He's like, I got all child support. He paid a single dime in child support his whole life Yo, why, because why he took care of all his kids. Why you think I get? Why you think I get all my kids all the time? Have you had that conversation with the person you procreated before you procreated with them? Right now. Uh, bro, you know how many unprocreated yeah, kids out here? What the hell you talking that, about? See, that's, that, like I said, Most of these babies this, this answer the damn baby. You talking that's about? That's what I'm saying. It's a strategic thing. You gotta have an understanding with the person. This comes all. <laughs> this all of this comes down to COVID. We're gonna ignore that. You gotta that. have an understanding no. with the kids. Wow. Wow. I got not COVID. Oh, no, it I'm, don't come see, down. I overstepped. It don't come down to COVID. It don't come yeah. down to co-parenting at all. It happened way before co-parenting. I don't give a fuck. It happened way before co-parenting. You gotta know. It happens. It you gotta know, know the person happens. that you co I'll tell you exactly with, what bro. happens for niggas. To be honest with you and smart and actually thorough with you, the moment you bag this bitch, is it, hmm, I like this person's energy or I want to fuck that person. And then if you make that decision, once you make that decision, you, you, it's life's a lot of decision. It's a couple decisions for y'all. I'll get into that too since we, we're here. We're I want to hear this. Because <laughs> you, you only know I'm going to Don't stop my right. Don't stop my right. It's his show. He can have this. So, so it comes down to that of the right there when you walk out the house, it's going to be a lit night. You meet this bitch. Oh, alright. Is this bitch energy just an energy that I like to be around? We like to go have fun. We like to get lucky. Like, <laughs> or is it a bitch that you want to fuck? Like, it's a, those are two different energies. You feel me? It's, definitely. Those are definitely, definitely two different energies. I agree on And that. then niggas cross that energy because you get in, you get in a, get lucky, yeah. and then your whole mind is, I want to fuck something tonight. And we have this energy of getting lucky. Amsterdam baby. You feel me? Not Amsterdam baby. But you don't think right. this get lucky energy is bringing me so much more than just me fucking it. Because me fucking it fucks everything up. Fellas come into hand. I don't really want to be here, but we was getting lucky. Mm -hmm. Not all the time. Like, you feel me? That's the decision right there. That's what I'm saying. It's not fucking easy. I'm saying it's not a fucking easy lifestyle to live. But I live it so I can talk shit about it. <laughs> Point blank, period. That's the truth, though. I wanted to have kids at 20. Fucking first one at 20. At 19, pregnant, 21, 20, I, I'm 20. My son's born in the fucking summer of that year. Of my 20th so year and my sire. <laughs> that annoying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Extra annoying. David's trajectory lives so on. Let him, up, let him talk his shit. Go ahead, man. Extra then, annoying. Oh, I told my... I can tell y'all this story. That shit ain't easy, let's, let's, though. Let's go on 10. It's not, let's though. Let's go on wormhole. Mentally. Oh, actually planning shit. My mother <laughs> asked me at 15. Stop thinking about what it. What you want to do? I said... <laughs> I, I, want, I, I, want to, I want to be an actor. I said, Damn. I want to be an actor. Yeah. I like this camera stuff because I was doing camera. I was doing cameras. I was doing like the news in my like grade school. It wasn't like 15. It was like maybe about 12. I was doing like the news shit. Mm -hmm. I was behind the camera. I was in front of the camera and shit. So I was like, I want to do this camera stuff that I'm doing. Light it up. Where are we right now, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> So she like, yeah, 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 so, um, so what do you think about your life with women and, like, kids and all that? I was like, I don't know, but all I know, I want to have my kids at 20 and 21, because by the time I'm 40, 
I'll be done. Like I have a, I have a and seventeen. What? I have a what? twenty and a nineteen year old. It, it could right, be. That I would have had kids. It's not could 20, be, nigga. It's here. Know. I have my kid. At, I have my boy at twenty. I have my girl at twenty one. Just how I look like I want a boy and a girl. Boy first. Told her this in a verbatim conversation. Right. Watch when the documentary comes. She gonna tell you how he acts. So you go. We gonna sit tea with my mother. I'm gonna be sitting like this. You feel me? <laughs> <right? laughs> I'm sitting behind the camera, but that's what I don't give a fuck. Like, like, Mom, tell me a story about when we was driving in the probe that you gave me when I was 18. Like, it's, it's, it sounds like a real story, don't it? Hey, yeah, what the fuck of my life? Yeah, yeah, you gotta do a flashback. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a good job. I'm never gonna be behind the camera, man. Oh my god, oh my but, life. I might want you to do that. Can I just play Mo in the flashback scene? Mo? You wanna play me? Flashback scene, we are talking about it in a documentary. Shit, I'm playing myself in a flashback scene. Come walking through. I'm playing myself in the flashback scene. Y'all gonna assume my flashback gonna be the 70s, so I ain't even wanna talk about it. Oh, God. So, anyway. We know you. Going to 83. Shut up. So, I straight up told my mother, Ola, I'm sitting here in 2021, with all of it being a fact, I have my production company, I'm I'm doing nothing but camera work or editing work every day of my life, fuck, like, in the fucking 30s, in my fucking 30s, nigga, I have two kids that's on the trajectory to graduate at the age of, fuck, at the age of me being 38 and 39, well, no, 36 and 37, they should, they're on the trajectory of graduating, so, my plan is, Technically, three years ahead. I have the wife I want. When I met when I was 11, it's a whole fucking story. Like I said, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm a planner. You give too much. I'm a fuck. No, I, I'm not giving them enough. No. <laughs> I'm not giving them enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving them enough. <laughs> Olivia, <take> it. <laughs> Olivia the last time I remember you said, y'all always putting y'all kids to work, and that is why, because that when they get old enough, I want them to make have that money. They, they got to know. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. We won't have children. to. They work, they, they work, they they work, work my baby. We don't work them. We experience them. They work my baby. <laughs> We experience and my daughter's first birthday party, experience. okay? They experience. get experience. They get experience. And they get the experiences from the Oh, it better be. And I'll sign off on it. I'll let them know they definitely took. I will show them. Look at these pictures. I got a portfolio. They realized I was in the sorority and they didn't know what to do. I said, you're in the sorority? What? All right, so that's another way. My whole thing is this is what Stafford started just sorority, though. Did not sorority, because ain't that for mm -hmm. women? Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta get it out. Yeah, okay. Alright, so my you whole thing it. is you can't go through life wanting to smoke without rolling. You're what? so annoying. But yes, you can. You did not have to bring that up. Yes, you, you can. You did not have to bring that up. Oh, I will say that. Right, because, you can, you can yes, put that, you can. You can put that towards you. That's you all I'm gonna say. Is, you yes, you can. You can you'll put that towards your life experience. You will get the blood you can have. You will get the blood you can have. You'll never get the blood you want. Yo. You'll never get the blood you want. That's all I'm saying. Yes, you can. My point is that you can. You can. Yes, you can. You can. Yes, 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 you Yes, you I'm, you not, I'm not gonna throw up. Yes, you can. Get up. So, TV, you know how to play chess? I yes. played when I was younger, but it, other things assume me, oh. so I need a refresher for stuff. You can know, you can do like smoking man. and not knowing how to hey, do it. Because it's loopholes to everything. Enough, bro. Mm -hmm. It's loopholes to everything. Energy turns into a pattern. Yes, you can. That's all I'm saying. Yes, you can, because that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. It is very much possible. Anything. So, like I was saying. No, no, I want him to explain what he mean by that. That is the name of this episode. You, you know what he mean by that. You already know what he mean by that. Yes, you can. Everybody wants to smoke, but nobody wants to roll. <laughs> I'm not going to roll if I don't have to. 
Absolutely oh, not. God. If you roll, you get what you want every time. I get what I want when I don't tip. See, that's why I said yes, you can. Yo, I usually, I usually know, get. You can. I usually I get. Hold up, I usually, usually get. When we I usually get a better blunt when I don't roll it. That's because you don't take the time to learn how to roll. I mean, I, no, I know how to roll. No, I know how to roll. No, how when you I, want every time. Where it's when, I, when, I roll, when I roll, when I roll, when I roll, I like it. Like, I, I even sometimes sing to my blunts after I roll them. Not sing to them. Yeah, because it'd be a joyful moment for me. But, you know, I don't know how to roll the action. Like, I don't, he rolls, like, with the tin. And not the And he got the raw paper. And then he puts the font toe in there. And he makes it so nice. And if I feel the love with every pull, you know? <laughs> So I just feel like his blunts are better. Maybe if I took the time to learn how to roll that. Like, You'll yeah. get what you want. And, and they got you to they got you to on you. But YouTube. Tom, Tom, when you take the time to YouTube. learn how to roll, even when it don't come out the way you want it to come out, we always got a band-aid. Am yeah. I not wrong? Or a finger to put in over the hole. You make a kazoo. That's how you smoke pipes anyway. You, know, you gotta hold the hole. Anybody got anything they wanna promote? Oh, this is all pro. Uh, oh, let me um. Free promotion. Be quiet. Let me get this real tag in real quick for my people. My bro this is my brother. Uh, uh, like I told y'all last week, my brother made me a shirt, you feel me? He make all my shit that I really want. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a CCP legend. All passion no, niggas know what CCP is, you feel me? Like, I'm born and raised. Fucking building one, fucking, you feel me? Building one? Oh, yeah, I've got the buildings on there. Like I said, it's a team, you hear me? Real, real representative. My brother made this for me. All pro designs. Fucking all pro. All fucking pro designs. Like I said, I'm gonna put they. Y'all saw how it was last man, week. If y'all watched it, if y'all really watched it, like you feel me? Y'all saw how I put it up there. I'm gonna put a little thing of his like uh, Instagram. Like I said, all pro designs. How that fucking all pro designs. There, Anybody Instagram else got anything? AP Designs HQ at Instagram. That's their name on Instagram. So make sure you go follow all pro. Good backup. Shout out IBC. <laughs> IBC, book all your sessions. We in the land of IBC Productions. Y'all see the rules. At IBC Studios. To get it. Instagram. 973. <laughs> Mr. IBC 973. IBC Studios 973. We out here. Um, like I said, get them Instagram numbers up. I just dropped some heat on the fucking um, YouTube page. Make sure y'all subscribe to that. Leave a comment. You feel me? Thanks to all the people that's part of the fucking um, Kush Cloud game. You feel me? All the Kush Collars. Tag them, man. Um, at Karasian on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse. We out here. At Benji underscore Benji on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. Y'all already know how to follow me, but if you forgot, it is at underscore underscore O L I V I A W I L D. That's Olivia Well. You already know. Oh, follow uh, Gorgeous Hill and our OnlyFans. We, we yeah. started oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Gorgeous Healing on OnlyFans, that's so dope. Yes, I'm here for it. You feel me? Follow Gorgeous Healing on OnlyFans. Add me on the beat on Instagram. Take up. You feel me? And uh, how much our subscriptions are? 10 10. 10 10. 10. You feel me? We ain't that 750 shit. Okay. Let's go. You feel me? Get that fucking $10. Stop. You feel me? Follow Talk to who? Was that a motherfucker? Joe son? Button says 750, they ain't cutting it. That's what I'm taking the God Joe Button. He be cashing out. He saying how he be cashing out. Who, who? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Mom, do I have a permission to go? Keep going and don't stop. Keep going. Let's keep going. Go Let's keep going. Go Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You can go by Let's word go. of mouth. <laughs> you need to be all up there like that. Uh, the Make difference between the dreamer and the visionary <laughs> is the dreamer has his eyes closed and the visionary has his eyes open. Y'all got back. I'm not doing that work. Yeah. Ah!